Hi guys, your girl Rue back again with another Aries compatibility. Now it's Aries and Aries. And let's see if y'all two will make it since y'all just alike. But remember your birth charts. Um, go to www.astro.com. Pull down, go up to horoscope, pull down the menu, go to natal charts, fill out all that. And you will see when you, when it comes on the screen and to the left, you can see your sun sign Aries, but you might be, y'all might be different in your, um, what do they call it? Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, man. I can't even think of the name of it. But it's y'all different. Y'all have different uh, other signs in y'all charts, so that can make y'all different. Yeah, so your moon sign and the rest of that, so... Yeah, so, uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's talk a little bit about Aries. And see, y'all good people. Uh, your fire sign from the planet Mars. The ram is, uh, you know, a symbol. A symbol. Uh, y'all usually uh, energetic. Got a lot of energy. Adventurous, dynamic, and impulsive. Uh... Let's see some of y'all personal traits. Let's see. Y'all are a cardinal sign. Cardinals are people born with the cardinal uh, are known for being traditional, reasonable, and natural born leaders. Y'all definitely that. Beyond their incredible leadership skills, Rams have a number of great characteristics. Here are the most one, so they're saying. Um, uh, ruled by Mars, the god of war. It's a little surprising. Rams are known for being brave and tenacious. With well, tenacious, sorry about that. Uh, your your signer signs are pioneers. There are ones you call <clears throat> on. On to boldly go where no one has gone before. Their fearlessness and courageousness make them the ideal people for trying new experiences, taking risks, and breaking new ground. Okay, they are energetic, natural, passion, natural, passionate, and creative. Oh uh, yeah, first in the zodiac. Uh, this. Y'all aren't tied down with concerns about the past. Aries is full of optimism and un, unbridled hope, making them highly generous and eager to help those in need, just so they can put a smile on people's faces. Yeah, y'all sweet people. Like my, old, my second to the oldest daughter is Aries. She's very sweet. Negative... Uh, Always battle ready. People born under the Aries sign. Oh, my grandbaby, my only granddaughter. She's Aries, just like a mom. Sign can have quite the temper. Yeah, they always, they talk to each other. <laughs> Hollering. They get along. They understand each other. It's so funny. While it should fizzle out quickly, Ram still needs some time to calm down from their outbursts. Steer clear until they do. Or else you might find yourself the target of their rage. Like I said, it's so funny. The energy and courage that make Aries such a great leader can be dangerous when coupled with blind optimism. And Aries will play to win but might not always take the time to assist, assist the risk. Check out the risk first, Aries. And Tur turbulence they could face in a given task. Yeah, y'all gotta think before y'all act. Y'all kind of react first and think later. Then y'all sorry that y'all did. And won't apologize. Y'all learn to apologize for it. The same courageousness that enables an Aries to take a new situation or task can become re recklessness if it isn't channeled correctly. So take your time in it. You know, y'all good and, you know, understanding your job and what you got to do and stuff like that, you know, 
Just, you know, just take your time in relationships as well. Get to know your partner. Because rams don't think about the consequences of their actions. They often end up feeling overwhelmed and learning lessons the hard way when things don't go as expected. So your opposite is Libra. So we, I'm a Libra. So we kind of like going to think about it and think about it and think about it again before we do something. Every signs are known for being overly competitive and seeing everything as if it were a fierce fight to the death. So be prepared for the worth of the ram who is about to lose. They're likely to be a poor sport and let their fiery temper take control. So be careful, Aries, y'all. You know, like I said about also adding that with drinking, that's not good. You know, the men, I'm telling y'all, people want to fight y'all when y'all get drunk. If y'all can't handle y'all liquor, liquor to like y'all. And the women, y'all run y'all mouth a little bit too much. You know, make people feel uncomfortable with the things that y'all say. So be careful with that. Aries might be a, um, let me see, the Rams are no doubt fun. Y'all fun, energetic. And uh, good people can be excellent friends, partners, and coworkers. Y'all are good to people. Y'all are there for them. Y'all, if you say you're gonna do something, you're gonna do it. Let me light another incense, y'all. I love that about y'all. You know, y'all good. I have each one of my kids. I love that about each one of them. Each one of them play, play a role in uh, each, you know, in in my life, and I really appreciate that. Uh, y'all really the ones that go out there and get it and the money thing. And y'all motivate everybody to go and get it. You know, I appreciate that about my daughters. Each one of them has a role to play. Um, y'all romantic, uh, professional relationships. Y'all, you know, y'all professional, but make sure your relationship is not <laughs> professional. You know, your real relationship. Get to know the person, laugh, talk. Y'all usually young at heart. So, you know, romantic the fire elements come through big time with an Aries in love. In relationships, Rams are not afraid to jump in head first and are most definitely not shy about ex ex expressing their feelings. Their fearlessness means that they can be very romantic and passionate without concern for the consequences. If you aren't used to such boldness, being in a relationship with Aries sign can be quite the shock. Now, people will take advantage of y'all, so be careful because y'all like to give them gifts, y'all like to help, give money, let them drive your cars, whatever. Y'all real friendly, so y'all two would do good together, but y'all have to pay attention to the other signs in y'all chart because one could be a user and one could be not, and one could be emotional. You know, you just got to know uh, about each other and really study each other and talk and be friends first. Don't be first so quick to jump into the relationship. Aries in love can be a wonderful thing, given the sense of adventure and willingness to take risks. You'll never be bored dating the Aries. Now that I know for a fact. And because they, they're they often outspoken, there's a pretty good chance that you'll never have to worry about where you start with a ram. The bottom line, if an Aries asks you to be their date to the School dance, say yes. Yeah, lots of fun. But my experience, shower me with gifts, disappear, have a nice time, show me off, want me to go places because, you know, y'all like to show off, you know, especially in sports and stuff like that. But you have to be, I had to play that part, and I'm a Libra. I can play any part, but we don't like to be told what to do. <laughs> so that's another story. Rams are very loyal to family and friends, even if they don't always reach out regularly. But the more fiery Aries traits can sometimes make it tricky to maintain stability in their relationships. See what I'm saying? Y'all jumping all over the place. And then y'all come back months, sometimes years later, and want us back in that same have me to have that same mind that you just left. You bring and shower me more gifts and you listen to what I said about, you know, 
certain friend, I told him I wanted to live back on the farm and all that kind of stuff, came back, showed me all the stuff you had for me with the farm, but you left me years with no contact. So I'm not the type of person I'm just going to jump for joy because you got everything for me. I haven't heard from you. I don't know what's been going on. So, you know, you have to watch that. Aries children are known for being active and assertive. So, you know, your children will be active. Traits that can cause them to butt heads and their peers and exhaust their partner, their parents. As such, parents of young rams must learn early on how to discipline and deal effectively with their children's uh, trauma, uh, tantrums and rebellious nature. Yeah, because um, my daughter kind of lets them, you know, be free spirited. And that Aries child, you know, they they kind of butt heads and stuff. So she have to really learn to discipline them. You have to be not so into the money thing and the job and stop and discipline your children. As parents <clears throat> themselves, Rams are loving, selfless, and devoted to their children. However, they can also be overly protective and quick to punish. Yeah, because, you know overly protective like if I say if somebody say something they did you know they don't want to yeah believe you but you know they kind of like also taking up for the child as well and that's not good and you make people don't want to watch them so y'all be careful when y'all have kids and then y'all you know ready to pop them or, or you know whatever or punish them but and sometimes don't listen to what they're trying to tell you what happened? So make sure you listen to your children, because teachers and all people are not always right. Listen to your children. When it comes to friendship, it's easy for an Aries to make lots of friends. Rams wouldn't bother holding onto friends who don't respect them for or others. They are also like constant stimulation and spontaneous friends. Their friendships and and if those needs are being met. They'll go ahead and start looking for new people to hang out with. Professional uh, natural leaders' ability, heirs can be tre tremendous assets. Y'all love to work, and uh, y'all gonna get it. Y'all can strive. I, like I said, I know millionaires as Aries. I know some that's not, you know, but they still go get it. They go. They ain't no. They ain't lazy. There are people who will take on a new project with an infectious enthusiasm. Their internet, intelligent, quick thinking ways make them the kind of people you can trust to handle any setback along the way. Y'all catch on fast to jobs or whatever y'all, y'all, you know, because y'all leaders, y'all already understand how it go. Y'all gonna sit there till y'all understand it. I like that. Aries people are also great for team dynamics. Rams are full of spontaneity that can keep the workday from becoming tedious and help bring shy co-workers out of their shell. They generous, their generous and willingness to help others makes them approachable. Although the outspoken areas might lack some tack of okay, on occasions, the optimism and ability to carry the team to the new heights will more than make up for it. Yeah, y'all got to watch what y'all say. Sometimes y'all can say stuff that um, piss people off. Uh, being a leader, being first, is usually important. Those born uh, under you all sign, very tapping into those leadership skills and join the school club or sports team. So that I like about y'all, y'all partners like sports or whatever. Y'all always willing to go and do something. Y'all active, y'all not lazy. Most of y'all have good physiques. Very nice figures. Uh, let me see. Let's see if I can find uh, the sexual things. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go back to. Uh, weaknesses or strengths are, like we say, you're brave. You're concentrated on what you're doing. Self-assured, optimistic, honest. Your weaknesses, lack of patience, moody. Um, you know, you can lose your temper, impulsive, aggressive. Uh, you can be possessive, controlling, 
convenient, uh, you like, you know, easy breezy, nice, you know, dress really nice, simple stuff. Uh, physical challenges and sports, we said that. Uh, let's see. Uh, what are you afraid of? Are you afraid of not being noticed or being forgotten? Um, so be careful with that, Aries. Work on that. Sexual compat. Oh, let me see. No, nah, not that. The dark side is uh, anger, can turn in the warrior state. Uh, let's see. Where well, you like to be touched, your head, uh, massages, and the other head. Y'all very sexual, so y'all two Aries would love sex. You're spontaneous. You like to have sex anywhere. You know, uh, you like to show off and stuff like that. You know, like people know, this is my man, this is my woman. Yo, make that known. Um, y'all fall in love quick, but y'all also can fall out of love quick. But y'all have to get to know the partner and not always feel people disappoint you. just have to know your partner, you know. Um, so, yeah, y'all good in bed. Uh, y'all take the time to know the partner's body. Kind of quick, too. Y'all like quickies. So, yeah, y'all, too... Um, We'll be good together. Like I say, get to know each other because you're not just an Aries. The birth chart will show all about you, um, who you are. Oh, Lord, it's my house. It's this, Lord, yeah, this apartment here is full of some junk. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'll give y'all a thumbs up. Like I say, study each other and get to know each other. That birth chart will tell if you... Um, you know, the other signs in the charts. Because if you Aries, Aries, they might be Aries, Leo, you know, or something like that. And it'll make y'all different and clash. You know, one might like to show off more than the other. You know, stuff like that, which Leo kind of like y'all too. But they also like to have sex too. So, uh, yeah, I give it a thumbs up. Just be patient with each other and, and make time, day, night. With each other, and don't work so hard. Maybe, maybe I need to go into business together, so y'all can, you know. But y'all both leaders, so y'all have to listen to each other's opinion, and not, you know, one go over the other. Then y'all arguing in front of y'all employees or y'all uh, coworkers. Um. So yeah. Um. This will be a good match. Like I said, y'all get to know each other, and uh, y'all probably get married, stuff like that, because y'all both tr traditional. But yeah, so this is what I think about Aries and Aries, y'all. Appreciate y'all talking. Like, comment, share, uh, subscribe, and uh, talk to y'all later. It's your girl Ruth signing off. Bye.